Hare Krishna. Vamshidas Baba Ji Maharaj's pastimes with his deities. Vamshidas Baba Ji Maharaj's only possessions were an old cowpin, karanga, and kanta. Vamshidas Baba Ji lived in a world of his own. His world centered round his deities, Gauragadadhar, Nitai, Radha Krishna, and Gopal. For the service of his deities, he had two brass pots, some earthen pots, one plate, one glass, some small cups, panchapatra, bell, and conch, and nothing else. Vamshidas Baba Ji passed day and night in the service of the deities and in sweet talks with them. Early in the morning, he went out from his kuti to collect flowers. Then he would go for bhiksha. He returned to his kutiya about noon and made garlands from the flowers for each of the six deities. After that, he would cut the vegetables. He washed each vegetable a number of times. Then he cleaned rice. He examined each grain of rice. If he found any grain from which the husk was not removed, he removed it with his own hand. He did everything slowly contemplating all the time on the Leela of Radha Krishna or Gaurnitai and singing or talking to them. It was only late in the evening that he could cook and offer bhoga to the deities. He had no consciousness of time. Morning and evening, day and night had no meaning for him. Almost the whole night he kept awake, talking and singing. One day, a lady selling fish approached Babaji, offering him some choice type of catch. Somehow or other, Babaji's mind became attracted to tasting the fish. But he immediately rebuffed himself and became very angry. He first of all shouted at the woman to go away. Then he shouted at his deities, How could this happen? How could this happen? I have surrendered my life to Radha Krishna. I am under their protection. And still this happens. Why are you not protecting me? He went storming into his bhajan kuti. People gathered while he fussed and fumed at his deities inside. Then he came out, bringing the deities tied by rope and threw them into the Ganga. He kept the end of the rope under his foot. When one man inquired why he was doing this, Baba threw a stone at him. When this news reached the Gaudiya Mat, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati called his brahmacharis together and forbade them from visiting the Baba again. After a few days, he again called them together and said, Some of you think I have stopped you from visiting Babaji Maharaj because he is in Maya. That is not so. I have prevented you because you will not be able to understand this bhav and will only commit offences. So better you stay away. Later, when that Brahmachari visited, Vamshidas Babaji Maharaj threw a stone at him and told, If you want to please me, then never return here again. Babaji never locked the door of his kutir when he went out for bhiksha or to bathe in the gariga. When asked why he did not lock the kutir, he said, If the owner of the house himself does not keep a watch, then what is the use of locking the house? I do not even keep the keys of the lock with me. The lock has three keys. All the three are with the three boys. One is with Gaura, one is with Nitai, and one is with Kadadhar. After entrusting the lock and the keys to the three boys, Baba used to be free from anxiety. If while he was out, a cow entered the kutir and ransacked everything, he would be angry with the boys. If someone stole something from the kutir, he would say, Gaura has a soft corner for Nadiyavasis, the residence of his own dham. Therefore, he gives things away to them. I am after all an outsider. Once, a gold necklace given by someone to Sri Gaura was stolen when he had gone out for bhiksha. On returning to the kutir, he kept on scolding Gaura and asking him, whom he had given away the necklace to for about two hours. 
Toward the evening, he got a hint. He then went to the house of the thief and asked him for the necklace. The thief pushed him down the veranda of his house. He was hurt, but he did not see anything. But how could Gaurat tolerate this? The thief soon died as well as all the other members of his family. Once, Baba had to punish Gauranitai for their connivance in a theft. The two brass pots in which Baba used to cook for Gauranitai were stolen. How could this happen without the connivance of Gauranitai? So they were punished. Baba scolded them and did not give them anything to eat that day. The punishment had its effect. The next day, someone came quietly and delivered one of those pots. Baba said, the small pot is Nitai's. He will be fed today. If Gaura wants to eat, he must also bring his pot. Baba always did what he said. He cooked and offered bhoga to Nitai. Gaura drew a long face, long face as he kept looking at Nitai eating. In the meantime, another man came and delivered the other pot. Baba then cooked in that pot and offered bhoga to Gaura. When Gaura also had eaten, he said with tears in his eyes, Do I ever want to punish you? But both of you are so naughty that you always harass me. Don't you know that I have now become old and cannot bear it all? What can I do? Babaji Maharaj did not stay exclusively in the Navadip area but also travelled to many holy places where he practiced the spiritual disciplines of Bhakti Yoga. Whenever he saw a people tree, he would sit under it, taking it to be the Vamshivata under which Krishna played his flute to attract the gopis. When visiting a temple, he was often seen muttering confidentially to the deities, disclosing some personal sentiment to them. All in all, his companions were charmed by his devotional absorption. There was a person from Navadip Dham who used to come to Babaji Maharaj. One day he thought, I have the desire to obtain the Supreme Lord. How can I get Bhagavan? This person came back repeatedly to see Babaji Maharaj. Finally, one day he approached Maharaj directly. What do you want? Babaji Maharaj asked him. I want to see Bhagwan, the man said. Babaji Maharaj replied with only one word, then weep for him. Babaji Maharaj's disappearance day is on the Shukla Chaturthi of Shravan. Thank you very much. For more videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hare Krishna.